All right, guys, it is time for another weekly rotation. It's Monday. I didn't film it yesterday. I'm going to get it done this morning, get it up by this afternoon, hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, I've been trying to upload my videos at like 10 a.m., try to be like consistent, but I fell asleep last night after work and didn't get this one prepared. So this one you're going to see this afternoon, but let me know if you guys have liked the 10 a.m. thing see how that's working out uh yeah let's go over the fragrances that i wore last week starting with sunday through saturday this week i don't really have a theme for it kind of like last week um yeah kind of a couple niche couple designers uh, mostly fall weather stuff though so welcome to the fragrance wardrobe okay so yeah let's go ahead and call this cool weather rotation or a cool weather fragrance rotation because I've used the term fall a whole lot. Haven't used cool weather yet, I don't think. All right, first up, went with one from Hermes. Not the H24 I got recently, but I went with Tear Dare Hermes. So it was a little bit, I don't know, it wasn't warm, but it's kind of mild weather last Sunday. So I thought it would be a you know, nice little chance to bust out Tear Dare Hermes. It's been a while since I've worn it. Really enjoy this one. This one, not for everybody, but if you like a dirty orange, you like that earthy vetiver, uh, almost gives it like a soil type of thing going on. Terrier Hermes is really good. Dresses up great. Uh, you can wear it casually. Really, I think this one shines more in the spring, but eh, a Texas fall is kind of like spring anyway. So I thought it worked out pretty well. So like I said, Kind of a dirtyish orange in here the vetiver is going to give you like that earthy feeling almost gives you like the uh kind of gives me like this feeling of a being in a, an orchard like an orange orchard or whatever the day after it rained it's kind of cool you kind of smell that wet soil with the orange citruses going on that's what i get from cherry hermes so it's not going to be like one of those mass appealing designer type of scents but for those who know, you know, and it works out pretty well. Monday, I went with something niche, a little bit top shelf. And this one is from Zerzhov. It is from the Casamirati line, 1888. Really cool looking little bottle there. This whew, smells so good. So with this, it's going to be floral, but it's also a warm uh I don't know, slightly spicy, uh, very warm, ambery, floral type of scent. So I would wear this usually dressed up. I kind of wore it casually though, but you're gonna get like a carnation in here to give you that floral feel. Uh, you're also getting amber. You're gonna get some pepper in here. Give it, it's gonna give it a little bit of spice with a nice warm, ambery undertone. And this is, I don't know. This is, if I were to recommend a floral fragrance to a guy, I would recommend this one because this one is just like first class all the way. And it's very, very wearable. If you're a guy who's like iffy about florals, this thing, because of the warm, the spiciness, all of that, it, it, it plays perfect with the floral that's in here. So uh, yeah, Zerzhov, Casamirati, 1888. Tuesday, Reach for one from Guerlain. I haven't worn a whole lot of Guerlain uh, lately, uh, but I do have quite a few fragrances from the house. I've been meaning to reach for this one, finally did. It's going to be a Linstone de Guerlain, right here, or commonly referred to as Lidge within the community. So a little abbreviated thing there, Lidge. This thing, it smells pretty good. What I get the most out of this is kind of like that cacao in here. So I get like a, a really nice cacao, it gives it a little bit like of a chocolate type of facet with it. Put one up in the air. Yeah, get a little bit of a citrus in the opening, get a little bit of a pop from that, but the dry down's nice and warm. You get that cacao. It's a classy fragrance. It smells really good. I have the, yeah, the Eau de Parfum. I think these come in EDT and EDP, if I'm not mistaken. Most of the Ohm line from Guerlain does, I think, have like the EDT or the EDP. I have the EDP. You can get these pretty pretty affordably from discounters. Mine's a, a, um, a um, 
tester. <laughs> Mine's a tester bottle. That's why I had the little cap on there like that. And it doesn't have a regular cap. But I think I paid something like 40 bucks for the tester. Money well spent. Huh? Smells great. Uh, definitely try it before you buy it if you can. I think you probably try it out like at Neiman's, something like that. But yeah, if you, if you end up blind buying it, you don't like it, you could probably sell it pretty easily. All right, Wednesday, it did cool down quite a bit on Wednesday. I woke up, it was, it was kind of chilly, and I finally got to bust out Spice Balm Extreme. I posted this one on my set of the day on Instagram the other day, and I'm still getting like likes from it. It's the best post I've ever made on Instagram. It's just a picture of this bottle, just like this, pretty much, on Instagram. And it's up to like 250 likes, something like that. So, cool. I guess people really, really dig Spice Bob Extreme. I know people within the community really do. This, you're going to have tobacco, you're going to have some spices. I think there might be a little bit of cinnamon in here, I think. Uh, also vanilla so yeah it, it's a good like tobacco vanilla combination of a fragrance lasts pretty much all day long it's pretty uh, pretty mass appealing I think um, I mean not everybody digs this type of scent but I can say I did get a compliment from a customer at work while wearing this one she said I smell good I was like I hope so because you know yeah I have a lot of fragrances. Hopefully I do. But yeah, anyway, she said I smell good. And so we'll pull compliments, not from everybody. Probably not going to get complimented um, a whole lot, but it has that ability. So pretty good fragrance. Really dig it. Love tobacco scent. So this is like a no-brainer for me. Thursday, I went with one that is niche. It's from Carter Barcelona. Uh, I think it's a Spanish house, uh, like from Spain. And this one is Palo Santo, right here. This thing is really, really good. Um, if you are just going off of like the note breakdown, if you're like researching Palo Santo from Bar uh, Carter Barcelona, and you're looking at the notes, you may be turned off because it has like that lactonic type of a chord. Uh, with the milk accord going on with it but it doesn't smell like i don't know um secretions or anything like that what you get with this is super boozy it's going to be like rum you get like that milky it's it doesn't smell like milk but you kind of get like that milk accord going on with it and it just smells really really good a little bit of woods going in here but for me on my skin like this thing really shines as a rum and kind of a milk accord thing going on. Smells really good. It's really hard to take your nose off of this once you spray it. I get a little bit of spice from it as well. Yeah, I have a really hard time just like. It has, I don't know, some sort of addictive property to it. That just makes me keep smelling it. Um, not gonna be for everybody. Definitely try it before you buy because not everybody's gonna dig a boozy or a rum or a milk accord or a combination of all of those things. But uh, definitely worth trying out if you haven't already. And on Friday, I went with uh, the new Versace Eros Parfum right here. Looks just like the other uh, Eros bottles. I mean, color, design, cap, all of it looks the same, but it is a Parfum concentration. And in fact, I feel like the Parfum goes back to the original EDT DNA a little bit more than it does the EDP. So I'm getting more of like, um, I don't know, I just feel like I'm getting more of the EDT DNA than the EDP. And there's not a huge difference between the two, but this one just gives me like that true original arrow scent. But with it being a Parfum, it's not screeching off the skin. It's not like obnoxiously like projecting. Uh, I don't know if there's Ambroxan in this one. There might be, there might not be. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but it doesn't like, I don't know, it doesn't like give me a headache or anything like that. I've gotten headaches from the original Eros EDT before. Uh, I'm not one to, to get a headache from a fragrance, but I have a couple of times with that one. I didn't with this. Uh, it's not, like I said, it's not as obnoxiously like projecting or anything like that. If you like the EDT scent, then you're really going to dig this, um, especially if you're looking for something that's a lot more tame and that you can wear pretty much anytime, anywhere. 
that's going to be your Eros Parfum. Smells really good and it performs the way I want it to. So digging the Parfum much more than the EDT and the EDP. All right, and on Saturday, this one I wore out of the shower like three or four times this week and I wore it all day Saturday. Spice Bomb Infrared, 2021's own. I got the 1.7 because I just didn't think I was going to wear it enough to like warrant a 3.4. Plus, this thing's in the um, the holiday sampler set at work for and that's like $68. So I just bought that, gave them my voucher for this. But yeah, on paper, when I would smell it only on paper, I really got this like super like red hot candies uh, type of scent with it. Spicy, yeah, but also like this red hot sweetness type of thing that you get from like that candy. Now I was like, eh, I don't know. I kind of got it because, you know, collector kind of thing and also kind of to review. But once I put it on skin, I was like, oh man, I really like the way this is coming across. It's not heavy. It's not dense like extreme. That's heavy, dense type of fragrance. This one actually has a lot more of like an aromatic property going on. So I spray it on skin. I get the cinnamon. I get tobacco. I get all that spice. I get like the red chilies or whatever that's in there. And it's a, like when you smell it and you smell the spice, you think of the color red. So it matches infrared. Uh, it is kind of like that. I don't get as much of the candy uh, part of it though. I think the cinnamon kind of I don't know, the sweetness from the cinnamon kind of adjust off the, like on paper, it's more sweet on skin, not so much. So that's kind of how it's played on my skin anyway. And it's just like aromatic. It's not like dense or anything like that. I really dig it. I think it smells fantastic. In fact, with it being kind of aromatic like that, I mean, I don't probably wouldn't wear it outside of the cooler months anyway, but you probably could if you wanted to, uh, because it's not as dense. But yeah, infrared is a pretty good fragrance. Uh, really dated it quite a, really dated it quite a bit. Probably gonna wear it a few more times uh, this season. But yeah, if you haven't tried it out, go try it out, but don't just try it on the paper, like put it on your arm or, or something like that. So you can kind of get like the full picture of what the fragrance is gonna do on your skin. Because the paper does not tell the full story behind this one. All right, guys, I do appreciate you watching the video. Uh, let me know down in the comments, what did you wear this week? Did we match up on any of our uh, fragrances this week in our rotations? Uh, also, let me know if you've tried any of the ones I mentioned here today. All right, do appreciate you watching again. Please remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications, and I'll catch you guys with the next video. Peace.